Hi, I'm Andrew Whitner, the creator of Enlarge. Enlarge is the new app designed for your iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad that lets you use your Apple device as a predictive exposure computer for your traditional optical darkroom enlarger. It lets you compute the exposure time needed to expose an enlargement of any size from any given negative once you know the exposure time needed to expose an enlargement of any one size. This makes it useful for printing difficult negatives like this one. This is a negative that I shot whilst travelling in Brussels 40 years ago, and it was accidentally badly overdeveloped. I could try to reduce it chemically, but instead I'll try to just make a print from it as it is, and because I'm expecting the exposure time for an enlargement of it to be fairly long, I'm thinking that enlarge may make the job easier and more successful. And I'm also going to make the print using split contrast filtration so that I might be able to get better control over its light and dark values. Because I'm printing with enlarge, I'll begin by lowering the enlarger head to make a small work print because that's the way enlarge works. You make a small successful trial print and then use it to work out the exposure time needed to make a larger matching print. This print is about 6 by 9 centimetres. So here's the first test print. This has had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 seconds in steps of 10. Uh, normally a print of this small size would only need about 10 seconds altogether. Uh, so it's getting uh, a lot of exposure, but it's only starting to look dark enough around here at about 60 seconds. So here I've made a print using a single exposure of 60 seconds and uh, it still looks a little bit light. Now here's a print uh, with a single exposure of 80 seconds and it's still looking a bit light. Now here's a test print using 100 seconds overall and it's looking better. Now in, in this test print here I've increased the exposure time uh, with the double O filter to 119 seconds overall and then I've given uh, a test uh, with the number 5 filter, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 seconds uh, to try and see um, how the blacks are coming in now and I can see that at about 40 seconds or so, somewhere around here I'm getting um, the blacks that I want without overdoing them. So here's my uh, final test print, a small working print uh, it's had 119 seconds overall with the double O filter and then it's had uh, 40 seconds with the grade 5 filter and uh, that's giving me the uh, sort of tones that I think I like for this picture that's looking good and I'm going to go with this for my final enlargement. So I've used enlarge so that I can make all these small working prints using relatively short exposure times although a total exposure time of 160 seconds for my small final work print isn't really all that short, is it? But if you think that 160 seconds is long, then let's see what enlarge forecasts for the exposure time needed to make my final larger enlargement. Now, before I change the size of my enlargement projection, I'll make a note of the negative to print distance and exposure times used for my final small test print so that I can later on enter them into enlarge. So I'm going to measure the negative to print distance for the small print. And uh, it's um, 315 millimeters. Now I'm going to move the enlarger head up to make a larger final print. Looking at my small test print, I've decided to compose the image within an A4 print size. So now I'll measure the distance from the uh, negative to the print for the large A4 print and the, uh, the distance there that I'll be using is um, 669 millimetres. So uh, we've made the uh, a small final pilot print uh, so I'll go to enlarge now and enter details from it into enlarge in order to uh, work out the exposure time needed for the larger A4 print. Now for this uh, first or smaller print, which is this one, 
the negative to print distance there was 315 millimetres, and for the uh, first exposure with the double O filter I used 119 seconds. Now the larger A4 print is going to be made using a negative to print distance of 669 millimetres, and that means uh, that to make an A4 print which actually matches this one here calls for an exposure of 991 seconds. Now, I am using Ilford uh, glossy uh, warm tone fibre based paper. It does have, in my opinion, a dry down percentage uh, value of about minus 2.5% on the exposure. So I'll bring that in and use it here, and there it's introduced it as a 2.5% reduction to the normally computed exposure time. So 991 uh, becomes 966 after you take away 2.5%. So there's the plan. I'll use 966 seconds with the double O filter. Now to work out the exposure time for the number 5 filter, uh, I decided that I liked the effect at 40 seconds exposure and that means um, the new exposure time for that one would be 333 seconds. However, that's also reduced after the uh, dry down allowance of 2.5% off. It makes it 325 seconds. So 325 seconds with the grade 5 filter. And that's the uh, printing plan to make the uh, A4 print. Wow! Two questions come to mind. Firstly, how will the print paper, which is Ilford Glossy Multigrade Warm Tone Fibre Base, respond to such a very long exposure time compared to its response at the relatively shorter times used for the smaller work print? Enlarge is supposed to give me a perfectly matching enlargement, but will the paper have the correct exposure response? And will its contrast look right? And second, what about the condenser lenses in this Agfavariscope 60 enlarger? I'm printing with a 150 watt photocrescenter lamp, and I'm concerned that the heat buildup from it could crack the condenser lenses. I'm also thinking that the engineers at Agfa probably would have used heat resistant glass, but there's only one way to find out for sure. So I'm going to make the print using these recommended exposures of 966 seconds with the double O filter, followed by 325 seconds with the number 5 filter. And we'll see how the enlarger and the print look at the end of it. And here's the finished enlargement. I'm pleased to say that the enlarger condensers didn't crack, although they got pretty hot. And here's the uh, finished dry A4 enlargement next to the still damp uh, final pilot print and you can see that they're a pretty good match for each other. The pilot print has had about two and a half minutes exposure whilst the larger A4 print has had about 21 and a half minutes exposure. So Enlarge has made making this enlargement easier by avoiding what would have been very time consuming testing if the work test prints had been done at this larger size. So Enlarge has worked well and you can see that this particular print paper has a very good linear response in terms of exposure time and print contrast even out to exposure times of about 16 minutes and beyond. And that's enough of Enlarge and difficult negatives for one day. See you!